it's my first day of low carbs and I think that this is probably going to be a pretty typical breakfast for me. One cup of liquid egg whites and I sweetened that with some Splenda and then a little bit of fat-free, sugar-free pudding mix. About five grams of that. Mixed it all together, heated it in the microwave, and now it's a nice little sweet egg cake. And then I put Walden Farms and two tablespoons of better than peanut butter on top. I have one packet of sugar-free maple and brown sugar oatmeal. And it's a little watery. I put too much cashew milk in it, but it'll thicken up. And so I've got some cashew milk with that and coffee, and it's sweetened with Splenda and cashew milk. So nice and simple. I'll put the macros on the screen for you guys, but like I said, this is probably going to be a pretty typical breakfast for me. Uh, still some carbs, but a lot lower. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I transition from 250 to 150 grams of carbs. So I'll check in with you guys. I am heading to the gym. I'm going to be doing some, just the usual back exercises. Um, I'm gonna try out squats, see how I'm feeling. Probably keep it a little bit lighter and then finish out with uh, my HIIT training, which is back. So I've got two HIIT sessions this week and then finish out with some posing after that. So I'll probably be at the gym a good amount today. Um, I might start splitting it up into lifting in the morning and hit in the evening just so I can save a little bit of energy for one or the other. Oh, and I need new workout music, you guys. I have Spotify because I hate having to shuffle through songs, so I always wanna make sure that I like the music that I'm playing whenever I'm working out. I don't know, I'm just kinda getting tired of what I have, so leave a comment below. Let me know some of your favorite workout songs. I I don't know, it just kind of depends on the day. I do listen to some dubstep. I'm getting into more rap lately, which is weird for me. Heavy rock, and I will add them to my playlist. I need some help, you guys. All right, guys, and while y'all watch this, a little bit of footage from my back workout today. This is actually Future Blair coming at you, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the workout. Um, felt really good in today's back workout. Today is my first day of 150 carbs, so not quite sure how long I'll be feeling this good, um, but you know, it's just we'll have to take it one day at a time and see how it goes. So, um, still doing pretty heavy weight. I did, um, I think my coach might be uh, suggesting a few switch ups on some of my workouts, but of course, I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. So um, today, I actually I also did my first hit session um, in a while, and did that on the treadmill. Um, eight sprints, kept the incline at seven and a half. Now keep in mind, I am pretty slow. I'm not much of a runner ever, and my sprint is not insanely fast, but it's still a sprint for me. So anytime you're doing hit cardio, of course you want to. Um, do a pace that's pushing yourself, but it's not going to look the same for everybody. So 7% incline and then my sprints were at anywhere between 9 and 9.2 miles per hour. 15 seconds on and a minute and 45 seconds off. And after that, finished up with some posing as well. And what else was I going to tell you guys? I know there was a point to this. Oh, so... After I finished my back workout, um, I started feeling kind of slightly off and women, ladies out there, you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and men, go ahead and, you know, press it on mute for about 30 seconds. So, you know that feeling right before it's the time of the month, you start getting a little fatigued, you start getting some not so friendly cramps. You start getting some iffy feelings. So I started experiencing that today during my back workout and then um, a little bit afterwards. And it was so much, to the, so much so to the point that I thought about heading home and finishing my hit um, either on my bike in my apartment or at the treadmill at our apartment complex. And you know, I was, I was cooling off after my workout before I started my hit sprints and I was thinking to myself, okay, I'll go home, I'll eat lunch, get some work done, and then do my sprints. 
but I had a little second and I was honest with myself and I knew that if I went home, I was going to be less and less motivated to get my hit done by the hour. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but you know, it's one of those things I knew that if I didn't do it now, that I either A, wouldn't have done it today and push it off to another day, or B, it wouldn't have been as good as I did it after my workout. So, sucked it up and pushed through. And I feel so much better knowing that it's done, that it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about squeezing in, you know, two more hit sessions this week versus just one more. So, if you're ever kind of feeling kind of down um, during a workout or right before a workout, know that you're going to feel so much better afterwards. Knowing that you push through that mentality, whatever it is that was getting in your way, and just got it done. You know, versus pushing it off, worrying about it, stressing about it, and and possibly either not doing it or not putting in your best effort. So I feel really good knowing that I did that today. Um, right now, I'm heading home. I'm going to have my post-workout, get some work done, and I'm working on my contest prep video for nine weeks out, and we, I will be uploading that today. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and check that out before this one because it is a week before this one. And the link is on the screen for you guys. Look what I'm making. making Everybody. Making strawberry milk. Strawberry milk. Strawberry milk. Or as Matt would call it, rabbit milk. It's not rabbit milk though. Check it out. Look at that. Why are you holding a tablet? Oh no, that's a phone. That's a phone. So two of these yoo-hoos. There's only one carbon each. Bloop. Look at that dust. Eight ounces of cashew milk. There we go. Look at that. Make sure you can hear me. I'm using a Bluetooth speaker to talk to you. Cheers. Oh, okay. Can you hear me better now? Delicious. Okay. It's Thursday, about noon. I just got my hair cut. Even if they fix my hair, it's never how I normally do it. So as soon as I leave from getting my hair cut, I put it up immediately because I put it in my particular uh, style before I feel like I enjoy it. I used to have really long hair, like down to my back. I had my hair nice and long for the wedding. I probably didn't get a haircut for like two years before our wedding. And after we got married, I slowly started cutting it shorter and shorter, shorter, and then eventually went to this short and haven't gone back since. With lifting and working out, my long hair was the most frustrating thing to me. I was always working out, so it was always up in a ponytail or up in a bun, so I didn't really see the point to having long hair anymore. I think I wore it down maybe once a month. So, I'm about to head into Target. I need to get a few things. Emphasis on the few, but we'll see how that goes because low carb life lunch number two 215 grams of shredded coleslaw cooking up and then I added a four ounce Hamburger patty and that's 96% lean ground beef and In the toaster oven. I've got a full a whole bag of Sliced frozen zucchini and by whole bag. I mean this whole bag whole thing about 15 grams of carbs. So a lot of volume, low carb, decent fiber, of course no sugar. Toast those up, the hope is to get them crispy, but it takes forever. Got that, that, and then I'm gonna put it all on a plate. Top it with one serving of fat-free mozzarella. That's all she wrote, folks. Day two, 150 carbs. Not too bad yet, um, I'm still kind of worried. <laughs> I just love my carbs, you guys. I really do. I used to do the whole low carb thing way back when. I thought carbs were the enemy. I thought carbs were bad. And then whenever I started lifting, I started researching and found out that your body actually needs carbs for the energy. Um, started slowly adding carbs into my diet and never looked back. <laughs> you know, my diet's been 
higher carb and it's and it's usually pretty low fat that's why I can do higher carbs um, any fluctuation any drop in carbs is I die a little inside but that's okay it's only eight weeks and I'm going to do two is isn't all that bad. I still have a little bit of wiggle room at this point. And then I've got two days of 250 carbs. So those will be more fun. Yay! But it's kind of neat to have those days to look forward to. Because up until this point, it's been steady every day. And um, to have it kind of fluctuate, you get something a little more exciting. So, Hey everyone, it's Friday afternoon. Right now I'm cooking up some ground turkey for the weekend. I'm actually getting a few things ready. We've got a really busy weekend ahead of us. Uh, tonight we are going to be going to Austin with Matt's family um, to a place called Zilker Park. And every summer they put on a free play out in the park. And you bring blankets and you bring food and it starts at dark. It's always a really good show. They pick a different musical every year. This year it's Hairspray. Uh, and you go and it's really family friendly, it's free, um, only thing is bearing the heat. So it is going to be pretty hot even after it gets dark. It's been well over 100 all week. Um, but we're going to that tonight, but first, uh, before that we're going to go to Freebirds for dinner. And I'm so excited, today is my uh, high carb day, so my carbs are back up at 250. So I get to get a burrito, and it's going to be my usual, uh, if you guys know, I get monster, chicken, uh, no beans, no cheese, uh, cilantro, rice, corn salsa, all the veggies, and it's so good. Probably one of my favorite things ever, but uh, I'm going to do that, and then tomorrow morning we are heading to New Braunfels. A friend of mine, her little boy is turning four. And so we're going to his birthday party, and that's at 10. And then after that, we're actually driving from New Braunfels up to the Taylor area, which is, as far as I understand, about an hour and a half from where we're going to be in the morning. Um, for another friend of mine, um, they're having to get together for her birthday on the lake. So we're going from New Braunfels to Taylor right away. Um, so it is not a high carb day tomorrow and I'm going to have to be prepared with food. So I'm cooking up some turkey, probably going to cook up some veggies and I'm probably going to be taking my, I'm probably going to be taking Matt's six pack bag with us so I can keep my food cold but um, there's most likely going to be food wherever we go but it's not necessarily food that I'm going to be able to comfortably fit into my intake for the day and still have the energy to function like a normal human being. So making some turkey, gonna take some veggies, I'll probably take a couple um, Luna protein bars just in case, but I do want to be prepared to make sure that I don't get too hungry. I don't know how long we're gonna be out in Taylor see you. That's the plan for tomorrow. I will show you guys what I can of the weekend. Sunday we're going to be going climbing again. It's a usual thing for us so keep an eye out for that full day of eating from Sunday and then the weekend over. <laughs> so I'm going to keep cooking. Probably going to cook up some uh, coleslaw after the turkey is done and measure it out. Okay. What? I can't see anything. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's cool. Oh. Is there... Ah. Oh. Where'd you go, Justin? Oh. <laughs> I just hear him laughing. <laughs> what? what? Oh, that's awesome. All right, we just got done at the Children's Museum. I'm tired and we don't even have kids. They were running amok. Um, but it's almost noon and now we have to head to Taylor, which is an hour and a half away for more birthday festivities with another friend of ours. And I have turkey and coleslaw. I am hungry. My turkey and coleslaw already made. Um, this is 
weird. I'm actually gonna set it on the dash. What is that? Right here. I think it's hot enough to where it's gonna warm up not too badly right there. So, especially an hour and a half drive. Your words are not so good. <laughs> Hour and a half drive. It's probably gonna warm up in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna let it sit there. Matt's got something too, but I don't know if he's gonna eat it. It's taco stuff. Oh. Sipping on my BCAAs. Got my baby. Bay bay. bay, bay. Mm -hmm. He's got a signature pineapple shirt on. Okay, and we're off. just left Applebee's. We're in Taylor, Texas. And we're heading to Granger Lake. We're gonna go swimming, hanging out, bite eating my food on the way here. Uh -huh. I got food at Applebee's too. But they have a, a, what was it? Cedar chicken, cedar grilled chicken or something like that that uh, was about 550 calories. So I worked it into my intake. Fats are gone for the day, so I'm going to have to eat no fat for the rest of the day, but that's okay. And we're gonna listen to some music. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Lying. You're lying to everyone. 
Sometimes he does extensions. Sometimes I hurt my toe and don't want to do anything to it. What? I have excuses. Yet he still climbed and got on the treadmill. They are going to go back later because I have my hit cardio. Oh, P.S. you guys. You're um, person. I've been for about a week now. And as expected, because there was a significant drop in overall calories, um, my weight's down to 134 this morning. I've been sitting around 135, 136 on average, depending on the day. Um, so that's a low feeling. I'm definitely feeling leaner, so that's exciting. Eight weeks out from the show. And I told Matt this morning, I told Matt this, oh, can we get the mail? I told Matt this morning that I'm gonna win that show. You guys, I'm gonna win that show. So if it's you're not, planning on competing, just don't even bother. You, Please don't, so I have more of a chance. You didn't tell me that exactly. <laughs> I'll be right back, I'm gonna go check them out. What? Keep you with them. Don't leave me with them. hang out for like a minute with them well, sorry so my bodybuilding.com I ordered some new protein it says it was delivered but there was no key in the mailbox so that means it's in the office but it isn't open for a couple hours that's a hard life <sighs> struggle is real real struggle with you no there's not I'm not saying that there is I was just you just said the struggle's real I was kidding You're on the struggle bus right now I'm always on the struggle bus I manage the struggle bus company. <laughs> I own it. <laughs> I own that struggle I bus can't company. Man I can't own it because I struggle too hard with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm you. I manage it. Home, I'm gonna have my breakfast. And you guys, what's really been helping me is... Bang. <laughs> Someone else got a bang. Hey, they got the crappy flavor. The but champagne. there's a cup. I've been planning out my entire day. Uh, I may have been sleepwalking last night. Of food in the morning and it's really really been helping me stick with the lower carbs i was a little worried um and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we carry this uh, never mind so it's really been helping me with the lower carbs because i plan out uh breakfast is higher carbs since it's post-workout and then lunch veggies and protein uh, snack I'll usually have like oatmeal with some peanut butter or something. What about brunch? And then I, I do brunch on the weekends. What about 11 Uh I normally eat lunch about 11 30 or 12. Mm. Um, Second and then that's like oatmeal and peanut butter and then dinner is usually veggies and protein and then dessert I can have something sweet like low-fat ice cream or oatmeal and peanut butter. So it's really been helping to plan it out. So if you guys don't do that, and you're struggling with hitting your macros, try planning out a day in advance. See how that works. It does take a few minutes, but it's so much easier because you have it all ready. You know what you're gonna eat, so you don't struggle with it. Anyways, we're gonna make breakfast. I hope you guys are having a good day. I will right, see you. Guys, I just got out of the doctor and good news, um, as far as we know, the doctor said that my little marble thingy isn't something that I need to worry about at this time. Since it's not causing me any pain, it's not um, growing in size. Um, he felt around and you know couldn't move it and it, he couldn't feel that it was a hernia. He said it could be what they call a fatty tumor, um, and it's just like a little, like a little cyst or something that's not anything harmful. Um, as long as it's not painful, it's not growing in size, it's not, you know, causing discomfort or anything like that. He said that it, it could just be a benign fatty tumor. So he wants me to keep an eye on it, and if it gets bigger or starts getting painful or anything of that sort, I'm going to have to go back and get a CT scan. For the most part, he said I can go about my normal business, nothing to worry about, just keep an eye on it and, you know, head back in if 
it does get bigger or painful. Good news, I don't have to worry about my little marble in my belly. And just got out of the grocery store. I kept it super, super simple this week, you guys. Basics when it comes to meat. He doesn't necessarily track his macros, but I do kind of keep an eye on, um, since I do make all of his food, I keep an eye on it kind of track in my head for him just because he wants to keep his muscle um, while we're climbing more and he's been adding in some running so we need to make sure that he at least gets in enough protein because he would not eat enough if it wasn't for me. Got that and then got my usual 99% lean ground turkey. I actually really really like this stuff. A lot of people complain about you know um, low fat meats being dry and plain and boring but it's all on how you dress it up and season it and cook it. It's not, it is a little more expensive than the fattier turkey, but that's okay with me. And I don't really feel like cooking chicken right now, so I'm keeping it simple with the turkey. Turkey bacon, the macros on this stuff are pretty good too. So I might start changing it up and having some of that in the mornings. And I got a few packages so Matt could have some too. And then of course we got lots of veggies. I got more so green veggies today because they are higher volume and on my lower carb days I want volume. I, I just want to keep my belly full. I you know I don't necessarily crave anything at this point. I, I will choose volume over a craving. So most of the time whenever if we do go out to eat or if I even crave, feel like I'm craving something and I start to plan to have it I'll I'll usually equate it to, okay, how much oatmeal and peanut butter can I have instead of fill in the blank. Oatmeal is, is very filling to me, and I friggin' love peanut butter. You guys know that. So I would choose oatmeal and peanut butter probably like nine times out of ten. Of course, as we get closer to the show, we will see how that goes. I know that cravings will get... Um, we'll get a little tougher. Post-show is, is going to be the struggle, mostly. That'll be a whole other beast in itself. My total for the grocery bill this week was, I believe, $86. Got some fresh green beans that I love. That'll probably, those green beans will probably last me three or four days. Um, because they are lower carb, so I can have more of those. Also got some frozen broccoli, more of the liquid water flavorings, all of that good stuff. So this is more of a clean eating, lower carb grocery haul for you guys. The boring ass stuff that nobody really cares about. It's where I am most of the week. You know, people don't want to see pictures of ground turkey and green beans that I eat for lunch every day. They want to see pictures of a fit chick eating ice cream and competing, you know? In all honesty, you guys, this is essentially flexible dieting. This is what it looks like most of the time. Yeah, I'll have some ice cream now and again, but 90% of what I've eaten for that day is going to look like this stuff here. Boring syrup. This what is, we have here. This is not elf. I almost did spaghetti squash. What we have here, you guys, is a new creation. You know how I love my coleslaw. Shredded lettuce, whatever you want to call it. This is a sweet twist to it because I have a mug cake for dinner. Uh, two scoops of protein, cocoa powders, Belinda. It's a little dry. I need some peanut butter biscoff spread. So, I sauteed coleslaw in a pan with coconut oil. Added some Splenda. Sauteed it some more. Added some fat-free cream cheese. Sauteed it some more. And then added Walden Farms. Actually, haven't really tried it yet, so let me... I like it. Really weird. Really weird. But... It's sweet. It's kind of like, um, you know how coleslaw is sweet? What are you laughing at? 
So, you guys, if you're if you're feeling adventurous or if you're like super poverty poverty macros, try this. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. This is my dinner. It's sweet because I was craving sweet. It's gonna be delicious. This, I don't know. It's weird, but I like it. Up to spaghetti. Anybody else? Would you guys try that? Because I would totally eat that. That'd be so good with the pop tart and the syrup. And oh my gosh. Get you back. Get you back. Get you back, get you back. Bus! Bus, run! Okay. Run, bus! Give me one! Come on! High five! Oh my gosh! High five! High five! Buzz! Oh! <laughs> I don't know who to do it. Bus! High five! High five! <laughs> Alright, last thing for the week, you guys. I got a little creative for dinner. Matt made himself a yummy, yummy pizza. It's my high carb day, but I didn't really want to use tons and tons of carbs on pizza. So, I made a weird like spaghetti squash pizza casserole. <laughs> Not something you can like pick up and eat as if it's a normal pizza. So I'm just gonna eat it with a fork and spaghetti squash with some fat-free mozzarella cheese in there, topped with some pizza sauce, spinach, ground turkey, more fat-free cheese. So it looks really good. Let me do a quick taste test. Quite delicious. I'll put the macros on the screen. This is actually really, really good. I'm gonna go eat this. Dang! You guys, that's going to conclude this week's contest prep update. Thank y'all for watching. Please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We are almost at a thousand. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Thank you guys for hanging in. Thank you for tuning in, and here's to another eight, seven, seven, seven weeks. Woo! Starting tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.